Ben Horner for MBTV here with Nathan Dale um, at the Kickstock Gym. We're going to start on sort of some bad news for the stable. Uh, Joe Hearn, unfortunately, is now out for well, however long, no one knows. Broken collarbone. Um, you're only just recently back from a long layoff. Um, what bit of a, what sort of advice would you give Joe? You know. Well, I'm gutted for Joe. Don't get me wrong. It's a it's a horrible thing to be injured and obviously can't come back. And to be fair, he's going to have a long period out. And the only thing, from my experience, don't come back too soon. Get that rest in. Make sure you come back 100%. Obviously, for Joe, he was sort of building very similar to yourself. You know, you just won the world youth title. He sort of he's won the uh, challenge belt. He's also building to go on to bigger things. Yeah. Um, so it's a bit of a knockdown for him, but you come back and proved, you know, injury isn't sort of the stop to what you're building towards. You no, definitely back. not. Definitely not. I'm, like I say, I'm very young still. I mean, Joe was just steamrolling everyone. That's a, that's Got to notice now. Got to just come off of the pace a little bit, but everything happens for a reason. Here, come back ten times stronger, which is bad news for everyone. <laughs> so I can't wait to see you back, Joe, mate. Going on to yourself, um, first time back in Norwich. Yeah. What does that mean to you to be able to? Obviously, you took a fair following down to Essex with you, um, which we all know is something you sort of worried about a little bit. You've been out for so long, and but coming back to Norwich. The place yeah. where it all has happened for you, really. Well, yeah, I mean, the people, the, the, the supporters were come and, and bought tickets off me for the brain to show. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. The sponsors, bang on. I can't appreciate that. It was it was spot on. But like I say, Norwich for me is as home, and um, I expect to bring a good good number down. And I'm going to put on a massive show for him. The first the one in brain injury that was scared, not the cobwebs, but the nerves as such. So I had no cobwebs. It was that was never a case. But this one, the nerves are gone, and looks like they're going to put on a, a brilliant show and see what happens after that. Something that Frank Warren has just recently sort of brought up is Liam Walsh fighting for a world title, um, or a final eliminator for a world title, um, going on to fight for the world title. Uh, something that was mentioned last year, Liam and Ryan both coming to Norwich and making the show happen at Carroll Road. We all know you're a massive Norwich fan, you, you carry the colours yellow and green on your shorts, every pair of shorts. What would that mean to you, you know, to walk out at Carroll Road? That's, that's, one, of them, that's one of them dreams, you know, I mean, that's a, I mean, you can't put it into words. For, for, for Norwich, I mean, it's going to be massive. Hopefully it can happen. We'll see. Where do you see things going for you now after this next show in Norwich? Um, it's that first sort of comeback breakthrough fight for yourself. Where, where do you want to see things going after that? Like I say, Graham and, Graham and that, they'll, um, they'll decide all that. I mean, I want, I'll fight anyone. That's what I want to do. But Graham, that's, what, that's his job to, to do, the, do that sort of business for me. So, wherever he decides. Looking forward to next weekend. Got a big pay per view fight, Adam Joshua defending his world title for the first time. But the fight that interests me the most on that on that show is uh, George Groves, Martin Murray. That's a good fight. Good fight. Sort of winner keeps their career rolling. Yeah. The other one is going to be decision time. Um, how do you see that fight going, and um, oh. what sort of fight do you see? George George Groves has got a, a great jab, and I think it's just going to be one of them nights where he's just going to it's just going to. Out, absolutely outboxing, really, unanimous points. I don't think he's going to knock Murray out. Murray's tough, man. Murray's, he's a tough guy. But I, I always say a good boxer would be a good puncher, a, a good fighter. So I think George for that one. Not easy, but I think he'll take it. Something I like to sort of ask people um, when it's coming up to fight night. What will you bring to that ring? You know, what can people expect to see from Nathan Dale on that night? The slickster. I mean, I mean... I'm one of them. I'm not. I'm not a banger. I'm not that sort of guy. I'm not that sort of fighter. I mean, I how I fight. I'm very relaxed. I mean, I've got flair. I'm that sort of fighter. I mean, you see, you see the guy shadow boxing on the 15th, <laughs> and that's all I can say. Brilliant. Well, best of luck. Cheers. Um, meet up with you on the night, yeah. and then um, hope training continues to go that's as well it. as it seems. That's Cheers, it. mate.